Sometimes when you create a map comp within GeoLayers, using for instance the light map style here, it can sometimes come out looking a little bit flat. So I want to show you a technique today to help change it from this to this by adding terrain to help bring out the different physical geography areas of the world. So if you watched my previous video on how to unlock unlimited GeoLayers map styles, you might have a bit of an idea where I'm going with this. So first of all, we're going to go over to this website called Mapbox. I already have an account, but if you don't have one, you're going to have to create one. So once we've got a Mapbox account, we're going to come over here to Create Map in Studio, and we're going to hit Create a New Style from a classic template, and I think it's best just to select Outdoors, Customize Outdoors. Next, we need to come over to here to Global, and in order to get this to work in GeoLayers, we need to change the projection to Mercator. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Layers, and we're basically going to hide away all layers apart from this one called Land and Water. We're then going to open up Land and Water, and we're going to shy away every single layer within it except for two, which are the uh, just simply the ones titled Land and the ones titled Water. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to select those land and water layers and we're going to change them to a dark red colour. Now, you need to make sure that it's the exact same colour on each. So copy that, come over here and paste it in there. And then you see we've just got this dark red map all over. Now that we've done that, I'm going to come over here to the blue plus. I'm going to select custom layer. And from this drop down, I'm going to select the one called map box terrain DEM1. I'm going to hit that and then you're going to hit the one underneath it there, map box terrain. There we go, that is now on the map. I'm then going to come over to this new layer which I've just added to the layers panel. I'm going to click on that to bring it up and then we're going to change the highlight colour to a dark black. And then if we zoom out you'll see that we now have this terrain texture across the whole map. Now to bring this into GeoLays is what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top right corner here and we're going to hit publish. So publish that. And then we're going to come up again to the top right, hit share. We're going to go third party. We're going to select Carto, copy the link, and then we're going to hop back over into GeoLayers. Now, is what we're going to do is we're going to create a new map comp. Now, under link here, you want to make sure that it's linked to that previous light map comp that we made earlier. We're going to go next, and then we're going to scroll down to this plus at the bottom. We're going to click the plus, and then within this URL, I field we're going to paste in that link there hit apply and create and there we go we're going to want to come up here and finalize this as well so now you see that we have this map comp with the train and this red field so how are we going to remove just this red color which what we're going to do is we're going to apply effect called key light 1.2 it's going to give us this color dropper here and we just select that red color now this is the reason why we did both the land and the sea as the same colour. We click it and it should remove that. There we go. So now you have a light map comp here linked to each other and within this you've got both the terrain texture which is there and then you've got the, uh, the underlying map texture there as well. So there we go. That's how you add terrain to any map. If you've got any questions please do just pop them down in the comments and I'm also selling my map animations so if you want to talk to me about any project then please do just fill out the Google form down in the description. Thanks.